and it hasn't gotten them that quarterback that he covets, maybe they should just try to develop the one they have. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's like a, a bad alternative. You know, again, maybe if Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers fall in your lap, lap you do it. But I, I don't think it's, you know, again, you better have it like ready or know that somebody's coming to town. I mean, you know, as we've, we've talked about, yeah, I mean, again, I'm, I'm looked as to a hater of the world, which I'm not, but uh, you know, again, you can win with Tua. We're seeing that. I mean, I think your point's real. You're dealing with like uh, all that chatter about Deshaun Watson. I mean, that, that probably a big part in why, yeah, they didn't come together and, and beat Jacksonville in London and were, you know, kind of underwhelming in that game. Uh, you know, lost some games there where they probably shouldn't have, where their team was more talented. But yeah, they get Tua. They finally go, okay, the trade's not going to happen. You know, it forces the team, the coaching staff, everybody to go all in on Tua. And now you see even with the offense, you know, they've grown that around him a little bit. Yeah, he's not a world beater. He's not. He's not a superstar. He's not going to be Justin Herbert. You know, again, we've gotten to the point where Tua, when he throws like a 15-yard. Oh, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Go ahead. After seeing Justin Herbert against the Texans on Sunday, I may want to revisit that comparison. Oh, Mike, stop I'm it. Not, I, 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 uh, it, it's not like it's not like these books are completed on these guys. They're either going to develop or they're not. They're going to improve or they're not. And and Herbert had some. Herbert had a pick six on. I mean, look, I know it happens to the best of them, but let, let's not put Herbert in the Hall of Fame just yet. Just like we're not putting Joe Burrow in the Hall of Fame. Just no, yet. why not? But Herbert Herbert had a phenomenal year. I'm not going to let one one game against the Texans go. He was the he's the starter in the Pro Bowl for a reason. He's he's like he's like one of the best quarterbacks in football. Tua, we've gotten to the point where he throws one go route. And we go, look, look, he he can throw that route. Look, look, he threw a ten yard out route. Look, he is good, right? That's where. I mean, that's that's the reality we're in. That's the, is, I don't know any other way to say it. He's still good though. You can win the football game. And to your point, when they finally realized he was the guy, and they went all in on that. They made an offense that fits him with the RPOs and the bootlegs and, hey, here's a reverse Jalen Otto and here's a speed sweep and fake that and throw the ball four yards over here on an out route, and that's the way they play. They kind of like have that old school, it's a little bit of a Jared Goff Ram formula, like spread you out horizontally, constantly, constantly, and then they, bam, hit you in the middle once they've spread you out with Waddle and Gusecki. That's how they do it. And you know, I do think a lot of that is framed about like what you said, that they finally came to the realization, like, this is our guy. We got to figure out how to play around him. Yes, he doesn't have a rocket of an arm, but he's real, you know, he's good. And he knows how to play the game and has charisma. And, I, you know, I think what you said is real. It, it helped the football team and helped them come together and realize what they are and gave them kind of a main focus on the offensive side of the ball. That's helped Tua and, and helped out the Dolphins altogether. Jalen Waddle, the receiver they took with a sixth overall pick in the draft after they bounced around a bit through some trays. One with yeah. the 49ers to go down Stud. to 12. One with the Eagles to go back to six. 12 targets, 10 catches, 92 yards, and a touchdown. Now, the touchdown, it was one of those. He had a, a couple of those, and that's fine. It's, that's it's basically do. a jet sweep. Yeah. But, you know, you, right. it's, a little, it's a little touch pass to a guy who's coming by in motion, but it still counts as a reception. So he's got 96 on the year, five short of Anquan Bolden's all-time single-season rookie record of 101 in 2003 it's it's odd that that number isn't higher when you consider that the single season record is currently 149 and the cooper cup has a chance to break it but it looks like it's going to be higher than 101 yeah. by the time this season's over but chris you hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports